So in this video I will show you how you can use a USB Type-C to HDMI cable with your iPad and your Galaxy phone. So I will start by unboxing this cable and then I will show you some other cables from Cable Creation before we start checking out how to do this with this USB Type-C to HDMI cable. This USB-C Type-C to HDMI cable is from Cable Creation, as you can see there. You will find links down below in the description text to where you can buy these cables. And also these other cables I will show you later on in the video. And this HDMI to USB-C cable supports HDR, 4K, 60Hz for example. So that's really awesome. And this specific cable is six feet long, as you can see, 1.83 meters. So, and it's a braided cable, so that's nice. And this one is compatible with Thunderbolt 3 too. So it's also, it also works with MacBooks and Mac, yeah, iMacs and so on. And also with the iPad Pro and the iPad Air 4 that I will use for this. And uh, you can also use it, of course, with Samsung Galaxy phones and so on. To be able to use Samsung DeX also. So that's nice. We will see Samsung DeX later on in this video with my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But let's start by opening this package. As you can see, cablecreation.com really nice cables from them really nice cables nice packaging you don't need to have this scissor so this is the cable itself and here we have some simple uh, information about warranty and so on that's nice so here is the cable itself. Let's remove these straps. Like so. And the other one here. Like so. So as I said, this one is almost two meter long, six feet. So it's quite long. So you can be able to have it connected to Samsung DeX, for example, on your Galaxy phone or your iPad to a monitor and so on, uh, far away. So that's nice. And as I said, it's braided, so it feels nice and it's protected and uh, very soft to hold. And here we have the USB Type-C port connector, I mean. And here we have the HDMI end of the cable. As you can see there, really nice. It will be very interesting to see how good this works with both my iPad Air 4 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As it said down here, you see HDR, 4K 60Hz, nice. But before we check this out with the iPad and the Galaxy phone, we will see the other cables from Cable Creation first. Let's start with the USB-C to Lightning cable. That's quite neat to have nowadays because all the charges you have starting to have now is a USB Type-C and so on. So if you have, uh, for example, an iPhone, you need to charge it with a USB-C charger. You can use a USB-C to lightning port cable. And as you can see, it's made for iPhone, iPod and an iPad. Nice. So let's see how good that looks. Here is some kind of documentation. It passed something. <laughs> and here we have the cable itself. It looks nice. This is also braided, as you can see. Cable creation makes nice quality cables. It feels very nice, this quality. So, now I have removed that. Here we have 
quite short cable as you can see USB Type-C to Lightning as you can see here here is the Lightning port Lightning connector sorry and here is the USB Type-C connector so you can use this for example with a power plug for USB-C and this one into the iPhone this cable is four feet doesn't feel like that but it is four feet long really nice quality I like the braided version of this one go check link down below to buy this one next cable is a USB Type-C to Type-C and this version is three meter long and three meter is ten feet and that's really really long I mean three meter I haven't seen a USB-C to USB-C cable at three meter before so that's a very interesting length of a cable from cable creation and this cable supports fast charging three ampere that's nice three ampere fast charging and it's compatible with macbook ipads samsung galaxy phones and so on really nice so let's remove these kinds of straps i don't like those you will never see an apple product with these straps mounted in the package i'm sure of that apple knows how annoying these are <laughs> I hate those. So this USB-C to USB-C cable is three meter long. I mean, that's very, 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 very long. So I really love that. Wow. I say, wow. So if you are in need of a three meter long USB-C to USB-C cable, then go check out Cable Creations cables. They are awesome. Very, very nice braided quality cables. I really love them. And lastly, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable again, but this one is shorter. It's six foot long, 1.8 meter long, so almost two meter. And as usual, we have those terrible straps I don't like. So a USB-C to USB-C cable, almost two meter long, 1.8 meter. As you can see, USB-C to USB-C works great with Samsung phones, iPad, Macs, and so on. So, really nice cables from Cable Creation. So, that was the unboxing of all these cables. So, now we will check out how to use the USB-C to HDMI cable with my iPad Air 4. Connect it to a monitor. You can connect it to a TV also if you want i will in this example use a monitor and you can also connect a samsung galaxy phone to use samsung dex with the same cable so i will show both of that now so let's start by plugging this end the hdmi end into the hdmi port on the monitor or the tv so you should just plug that in hard to do with one hand now but uh, i will try like so now i have plugged that in with one hand into the back side of my monitor into the hdmi port so now we have plugged that in the other end should be plugged into the unit you want to use with your monitor or TV. In this case, I will first use it with my iPad Air 4 and then later with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus so we can try out Samsung DeX too. Okay, so now we plug this in. So here we have a monitor, an HP monitor, 27 inch. And here we have my iPad Air 4. And here we have the cable from Cable Creation. So let's plug this in to the iPad Air 4. So now I have plugged the USB Type-C end of the cable into the iPad Air 4. And here we see now, as you can see, we have the same image on the monitor as we have on the iPad Air 4. So if we had have speakers on the monitor now, you have that usually on the TV, you will also have the audio transported from the iPad Air 4 into the monitor 
or the TV's speakers. So you can transfer both the video and the audio to the monitor. And as you can see now, everything works. You have the mouse here and so on. Uh, I use the magic keyboard for my iPad Air 4. And as you can see, I can use that now on the monitor. But of course, you can also connect a magic touchpad from Apple, for example, and a magic keyboard from Apple to your iPad Air 4 and use those on this monitor. That works awesomely good too. So I really love that. So as you can see, the cable works great with the iPad Air 4, no problem whatsoever. But as you can see, you get the black bars on the left and right side, but that is not the cable's fault or cable creation's fault, because that is actually Apple's fault. They don't make this work with the right aspect ratio. So when you connect a cable to a monitor, the monitor uses the same aspect ratio as the iPad has. And the iPad has a more squared aspect ratio as you have seen before. So that's why you get black bars on the sides. That's sadly what we have. I think Apple needs to change this so you get the full screen when you connect it to a monitor. This to be able to compete with the Samsung DeX, for example, that we will soon see when I connect my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So now I have connected the cable into my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus instead. And as you can see, you can choose to have uh, your phone as a touchpad when using DeX. So if I want to use that, I just click on that button at the left corner, as you can see there. So now my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus will be the touchpad for Samsung DeX. So as you can see now, I have Samsung DeX here and I can use the phone to move the mouse as you can see here and click double tap for right mouse button and one tap for left mouse button and so on and of course you have all the dex applications all the android apps in the dock as you can see there so samsung dex works great just by connecting the cable and nothing else I need to do. I just connect the cable and Samsung DeX pops up on the monitor. You can of course connect it also to a TV if you prefer that. And as you can see down here, we have the app drawer and so on, exactly as on Android. Works flawlessly and you have a real desktop experience. So web browsers and so on uses desktop mode and everything works as on a desktop instead of uh, as a phone that's great and I, I got a lot of questions always about samsung dex and how i can charge the samsung galaxy note 10 plus in this case while using dex and i just have wireless chargers i don't have one here at the moment but let's say that this was a wireless charger then I just put the phone down on the wireless charger and the phone starts to charge while I'm using Samsung DeX. Works great. You don't need to plug anything cables in or so. I just use a wireless charger to, at the same time I'm using Samsung DeX, I charge the phone at the same time. Works great actually. And of course you can also plug in hubs and so on. So you can charge your phone through the hub if the hub have a power through connector for example you can charge your phone at the same time as you have plugged in an hdmi cable into the hub so that works great too i often use that and i really love samsung dex and i think samsung dex with a cable is a lot more useful than wireless samsung dex wireless samsung dex also always have some lag and are not as good and clear picture and so on so the display gets a lot more sharper when using a cable than when using a wireless connector so if you connect samsung dex wirelessly as the samsung galaxy note 10 plus supports then the picture quality will not be as good as on when it uses a cable 
But as you can see, this cable from Cable Creation works great with both the iPad Air 4 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And of course, you can also connect the Magic Keyboard and Magic Touchpad, as I have from Apple here, to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and use those instead with Samsung Galaxy, with Samsung DeX, I mean. So that works also great. You can use other mouses and keyboards, of course, but uh, they need to be Bluetooth versions of keyboard and mouse if you want to use it uh, like this. But if you use a USB hub, you can connect the keyboard and mouse through cables, through the hub into the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So everything is possible. I can highly recommend this cable and all the other cables from Cable Creation. Go check the links down below in the description text where you can buy these. And please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.